Thursday night right here at Protective Stadium. Williams got the service away, and it's in the back of the net. We're tied at one. An excellent service from Williams, cashed in by Apodaca. And the Battery have leveled the score line. Battery did what they've been trying to do all night. They got it wide, they served it in. Part of the sequence. I can't tell who it is that made the run, but one of the forwards running diagonally across right in front. I think it was Perez who ran across Matt Van Ockel, which The pressure we've seen so far tonight, although it hasn't been as constant as previous games. Pressure here from Charleston, and it nets a goal! The home side goes up 1-0 in the 32nd minute. Mauro Sacero on the board. Is constant, but everybody's been in sync. Watch the high line defensively. It's not 100 miles an hour. You don't need to go Mach 1 with your Charleston hair on fire in order to get the results. That's where they got in trouble the first five games. Instead, everybody just sort of slides up a bit higher. You apply pressure. Going in, headed. Right to the post and headed in. Moro Chichiro has brought one back for Charleston. It's a great finish there by Chichiro. Lovely little cross that comes in. He, in between both loyal defenders, able to get a full header on this into the near post. That's as you're heading it. You want to head it back where it came from. Past an outstretched Vegas. Nothing he could do. 15 shots tonight for Charleston Battery. Four on target. Zamudio stopping them all. Loose net. Kuzmenski, I think, interfere with Zamudio. And Kuzmenski is going to get credited with the goal. He's indicating as much. But I'll tell you what. There's a big gripe on the other side for Loudoun United FC. See the service in here, bending in, and there was an initial collision there, helped on again, but there's a player on the line, so there's no chance of offside, and Kuzminski just reacting to this. It's this initial challenge on Zamudio there, but it looked to be pretty clean, just a lot of bodies in front. Uh, Zamudio was shielded off by Kuzminski, and the keeper against the keeper. Kilwine trying to work quickly up through the middle. Good turn to Andrew Booth. Sent in toward the top of the 18. Second chance deflected. Castaneras there. Easy in for the Charleston battery. And Aiden Apodaca halfway through the sixth minute. And it's 1-0 to the visitors. The battery are so good at making you uncomfortable on the pitch and in your defensive third, they do it again here. The, gets the clearance there, it comes right back, and Apodaca is on the backside. It, it's just wave after wave of battery players. John blocks that cross, but it comes right back to Harmon, plays it across Apodaca after the. That was one of their final tune-ups the other night, racing Louisville for the Women's Cup, which comes up shortly. Gonzalez takes it himself, stumbling, keeps his feet. Gonzalez, headed away by Faro. He's not as fleet of foot as Jorge Gonzalez, so as he cuts back to the inside here, he plays the angles game, but the physical nature is smartly done by the midfielder as he progresses through. And now a breakaway here after it was misplayed in the back. Here's going to be an opportunity for Williams. Pushes it forward. It's the opening tally of the 2022 campaign. And it's Augustine Williams putting Charleston on top. There's the answer to the trivia question. Who is going to have the first goal for Charleston in the 2022 season? Mr. Williams, number nine. Oh, brilliant. Rivas. Will dance. Weehan is ahead. Weehan saved off the line. Excellent from Brett St. Martin. Lacking creativity is certainly not something that surrounds this squad. And then the versatility of Brett St. Martin. You just used that word, Mike, and you move him into the left center back spot. Watch him drift back over here. 
Maybe one last chance here to pull one back for Charleston. It falls through for Archer. Now Williams on the ground through. And it's in! They'll pull one back. That'll probably be the last play. Way to cap it off. But how fitting with the performance that has been in the second half for the Charleston Battery that it does come from the two who have been the most consistent on the night. Augustine Williams, Yvel Perez, thank you very much. Watch this strike. Inside of the boot. You can see Patterson back there. It is Patterson! Oh, what a goal! Wow, what a hit! And the battery level in stoppage time! Pitch that can ping it, except for him. Right through it, look at the form. This is millimeters from being wrong. If his body shifts any other way, it's up over the top. Watch the little kiss. Oh, it comes off Galena. It's going in anyway. It doesn't matter.